The clinic visit presents an incredible opportunity to help our patients quit smoking. And unlike just a few years ago, we now have an extensive array of tools to achieve that goal. I'm Dr. Michael Fiore, Director of the University of Wisconsin's Center for Tobacco Research and Intervention, and I want to share how to use some of those tools for you today. The United States Public Health Service Clinical Practice Guideline says that we could be most effective when we combine some brief counseling with the use of one of the FDA-approved medications for smoking cessation. I want to describe how to use those medications in a busy clinic visit. The FDA has approved seven medications to help our patients quit smoking. These include five nicotine medicines, the patch, the gum, the lozenge, the inhaler, and the nasal spray, and two non-nicotine medications, pills that work at the site of nicotine addiction, the brain. These are bupropion or varinoclin, also known as Chantix. Because that's such a long list of agents to use, I'm going to focus in today on four approaches to help our patients to quit. These are the nicotine patch by itself, the nicotine mini lozenge by itself, and the two most effective agents, varinoclin or Chantix in combination nicotine replacement therapy. I'm going to start with those latter two because they're so effective. First, combination nicotine replacement therapy. In this approach, we prescribe the nicotine patch that provides patients with a round-the-clock delivery of nicotine to blunt overall withdrawal symptoms. But then they have something to turn to when they have a strong urge to have a cigarette, and that is a nicotine mini lozenge something that looks like a tic-tac, and an individual could put it in their mouth, let it dissolve, and help blunt that urge to have a cigarette. This combination, the patch with the mini lozenge, yields some of the highest quit rates we've achieved with smokers motivated to quit. The second agent that is particularly effective is varinoclin, the non-nicotine pill, also known as Chantix. Varinoclin acts at the site of nicotine addiction on the brain. It both serves as a nicotine agonist and antagonist, and in that way helps to blunt withdrawal symptoms while mimicking the effects of cigarettes. The third medication option I'd like to discuss is using the nicotine patch alone. The nicotine patch is a tried and true and highly effective agent the fourth option is using the nicotine mini lozenge alone. This is an evolution from the prior lozenges which are large, chalky, and not well tolerated by patients. These instead are small, mint flavored, and dissolve quickly in the mouth. They're great for smokers who particularly smoke fewer cigarettes per day and smokers who have really strong urges to smoke. One mini lozenge often blunts withdrawal symptoms. I want to share with you some of the tools that are available on the Center for Tobacco Research and Intervention website to help you with prescribing these medications. All of these tools are in the public domain. Feel free to download them, use them, and even put your clinic logo on them if they serve you. Possibly the most relevant one for this video is our chart of how to prescribe the seven FDA approved medications. Here is a shot of what that chart looks like and a link to how you can get that chart. It'll describe exactly how to prescribe varinoclin, the nicotine patch, the nicotine mini lozenge, and the other FDA-approved medications. 
Helping our patients quit smoking may be the most effective way that we can improve their health today and tomorrow.